Well, now to a warning about the growing danger of ticks. Experts say there are more of the bugs sticking around thanks to the warm winter. And that means you need to check yourself and your pets more frequently. Action News reporter Katie Cattrall joins us live in Center City tonight with more on what you need to know. Katie. And Rick, that's exactly right. Experts say you will be seeing a lot more ticks because of that mild winter that we had. It wasn't cold enough for a lot of those ticks to die off, which is why now it's especially important to use preventative measures. I was actually surprised that there were so many ticks in the city because um, I actually grew up like in the woods pretty much where it was really bad. Caitlin Naya says she recently found some ticks on her dog Bowie after coming back from walks. Behind the ears, yeah, I noticed that they, they're around his face the most times. One of the concerns that some of these ticks may carry Lyme disease. Our 6ABC data journalism team compiled this map of the number of cases by county in 2021. The highest numbers were in Chester County. A local veterinarian says you and your pet are at risk for a tick bite anywhere deer are around. I always shock my students by telling them that there's deer here in the city. I literally saw one yesterday. She recommends using a monthly preventative product. They come in multiple forms and Kelsey Jiang figured out Chili's favorite way to stay safe. Once a month, yeah. It's like a little meat tablet, so it's like a treat, so he really enjoys it. It's also important to check yourself and your children. A local pediatrician says make sure you're using a really high quality and insect repellent for kids. That's D up to 30% or Picardin ingredients for kids. If you find a tick on you or your pet, remove it right away. You pinch it close to the skin so that you remove the, the pinchers that are actually buried in the skin. If you just kind of pluck it once it's engorged, um, you're going to miss the disease transmitting part of the tick. And experts say once you remove that tick, take it to your local doctor or to your veterinarian so that they can run a test on the tick for Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses. Reporting live in Center City, Katie Catro, Channel 6 Action News. Shari.